Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a quick and non-spoiler review of Cosmic Ghost Rider issue number one, which just came out from Marvel Comics at the time of this recording today. Uh, it's this new five-issue miniseries, which is going to be going on over these next few months, is written by Stephanie Phillips, and the art in this book is by Juan Cabal. There's also this backup story that's called, I think, Cosmic Ghost Stories. It's just like a quick eight or ten pager um, that's definitely worth reading. I do recommend also reading the backup story. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go be going through some of my basic thoughts, showing uh, some of the artwork without getting to, into any of the spoilers um, and I'll just say right off the bat I was pleasantly surprised by this issue I thought it was really well executed in general uh, the artwork was pretty well done um, my only criticism of the artwork in general is just that Juan Cabal he does this a lot in his artwork I feel like the one thing is that he doesn't really flesh out like his backgrounds quite enough um, this is a bad example actually this is a really cool page where we've got like this setting of this character running down a staircase, running away from this new Cosmic Ghost Rider character. And like I said, I'm not going to get too far into uh, the plot to avoid spoilers and everything. But um, yeah, that's my only criticism of the artwork I can think of. I think it's pretty well done, but like figure-wise, there's not too much going on in general. Um, even though it's pretty well done, but like you can see there's just not backgrounds in some of the different panels, which is, could be uh, written off as a stylistic choice, but whatever. Um, but yeah, this story arc is called Dual Identity, which kind of gives you an idea of what's going on if you read the synopsis and stuff. Basically, there's this new version of Cosmic Ghost Rider that's somehow out there outside of our main character, who's um, Frank Castle. If you're not already familiar, this character from the very far future that Donny Cates created way back in his uh, short Thanos run that he had. Since then, Cosmic Ghost Rider uh, has come into the present through like time travel and everything. He was a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy, so that Donny Cates could write him again in that run. He had a few different miniseries. He um, left the hands of Donny Cates, obviously his creator, and has had some other writers writing him over the last couple years. But it's been a while since he's been back, and now I guess Marvel is wanting to bring back this character. So although this is only five issues, I think this is definitely going to be a winner of a story arc. You've got to read all the way through the issue to get more of an idea of what's actually going to be going on. Um, and I guess my only criticism writing-wise, I was really curious to pick this issue up because it's written by Stephanie Phillips, who um, has been doing really good on uh, Grimm lately, which is that Boom Studios ongoing series about like a Grim Reaper. Um, I thought that series is really well done. It's still going on going. I'm still buying it, right? My main criticism of that series also that also relates to Cosmic Ghost Rider. Now that Marvel is giving Stephanie Phillips a chance as a writer, she's also got that Rogan Gambit issue that came out this week. Um, is just that there's not like quite enough dialogue in each issue. I don't know if you saw me flipping through there, but there's not too much dialogue in each page. And plot wise, there wasn't actually too much that happened in this issue. But the main concept of the issue in general, and just like the dialogue between characters, Frank Castle being kind of funny as Cosmic Ghost Rider, I thought that was well done enough that it really did keep me intrigued. Um, and this whole dual identity idea is going to be really cool. This backup story also is good to give you just a little bit of a primer on um, like what the deal even is with uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. It's a pretty convoluted character, right? I still think it's kind of dumb that <laughs> the character even is Frank Castle to begin with because he's such like a hardened, like very serious character as Punisher in the modern day. Um, I just find it hard to believe that he'd become such like a zany, like Deadpool almost like character, right? He never breaks the fourth wall or anything like that, but he's definitely... Um, become a little bit weirder of a character since his time as Frank Castle. Yeah, man, this backup story is actually kind of heartbreaking. It's definitely worth a read, and the artwork is a lot better than the backup story, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, oversized first issue, you gotta pay five bucks for it, but like I said, at least the backup story is actually worth it, unlike some of these other, like, cash grabs that Marvel's been doing recently. Definitely a recommendation from me. I don't know how many people uh, this book is gonna be on their radar for. I don't know how many people are planning on picking this up. It's Marvel taking a chance with this character again because he hasn't been around for a while. But those are my basic thoughts. I always give you guys something out of 10 for these single issue reviews. For this first issue, this new Cosmic Ghost Rider miniseries, I guess I'll probably give it like an eight out of 10. That's a really good score from me. I was not expecting to like this too much. I kept my expectations low looking at the artwork um, and not being too sure about the writing and stuff. But yeah, this really pulled through. Uh, so yeah, like I said, make sure to read the backup story. Go pick this up if you haven't already um, to form your own thoughts about it. And I'm really curious if you guys have read this already, what you think of it down in the comments section below. Hopefully you got some good info from my review. If you haven't already read the issue, I hope you pick it up based on this. Um, and I really appreciate you guys for watching. Um, if you did enjoy the video, if you're not already subbed up for the channel, make sure to do that right down. Uh, it's a big red button right below the video. We're getting closer to that 500 subscriber milestone. Really appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll see you in the next comic review. Bye guys.